हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम जसवी योर इंग्लिश टीचर टुडे आई एम हेयर विद माय सेकंड वीडियो बेस्ड ऑन द चैप्टर द टाइगर किंग एज यू नो दैट इन माय लास्ट वीडियो आई डिस्कस्ड द मेन थीम्स एंड मेन पॉइंट्स ऑफ द स्टोरी थ्रू अ माइंड मैप एंड आई प्रॉमिस इन माय लास्ट वीडियो दैट आई वुड एक्सप्लेन द चैप्टर पेज बाय पेज इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो एज पर दैट प्रोमिस टूडे आई एम सपोज टू explain this chapter page by page now so before i start you must know that this chapter has been divided into five parts here as you can see from here starts part 1 part 2 then we have part 3 from here starts part 4 and this is part 5 right so in my this video i will cover the first two parts of the chapter so before uh, we start we must discuss the meanings of difficult words so which are these difficult words the words which you can see have been highlighted so these are the words which i think can be difficult for you so before we start with the chapter we must discuss the meanings of these words so the first word as you can see here is advance it is a word which has been used here so it means to move forward then the next we have strategic withdrawal so strategic means something which is done in a planned manner and withdrawal here means to end the story right so the author here wants to say that he doesn't have any intention to end the story in any planned manner or in any planned way the next we have is stuka bomber so stuka bomber basically it is an aircraft which is used to throw bombs name of an aircraft which is used to throw bombs the next word we have is retreat retreat means the act of moving back then we have this word imperative imperative means something which is of utmost important so imperative means of utmost importance then we have this word vital here it means great of vital importance of great importance the next word we have is indomitable indomitable means someone who is impossible to defeat right so indomitable means impossible to defeat then here we have bharat ram and dashrath so as you all know these are the names of the characters in ramayana so the author has referred to these characters from ramayana in the story now let's move to the next page the first word we have here is abode abode means a place of residence the next we have demise demise means death then we have foretold foretold means predicted something which is pre predicted it is foretold the next we have is swallow swallowed hard right so swallow is a word which means to bring something down the throat so here we have swallowed hard so it means something which was swallowed under great emotional stress the next word is emerged which means came out then we have prophets prophets here means those who predict future events you can also call them astrologers transfixed so transfixed here means became motionless with horror or wonder the very next word we have is stupefaction stupefaction means state of being shocked or confused then we have enunciated enunciated means something being said clearly 
gazed gazed means looked steadily intently intently means with great attention or you can say with great concentration then we have the word squeaky it means high pitched as you can see here squeaky voice means high pitched voice incredible incredible means unbelievable so you can see here the prince was born in the hour of the bull what does it mean so the bull as you must know that it represents a particular zodiac sign which is taurus so taurus the second sign of zodiac and it is represented by the bull so these are the words we have on page 2 now let's move to page 3 here we have the word quack it means tremble then we have growl growl means a low unpleasant sound made in throat by animals so when animals make a low unpleasant sound in their throat that is called growl then we have the word rife it means widespread so rumor rife in pratibandhapun so it was a rumor which was widely spread and the last word from the first part of the story is hint side it means understanding of a situation only after it has happened now let's move to part 2 the first word which we have is nanny nanny whom we call nanny who is a babysitter so who looks after babies coat of wards so we must know the meaning of this coat of wards so it is actually a legal body which was created by the east india company to protect states where the here was minor so it is actually a legal body and what was the purpose of this body it was there to protect the estates of those kings where the king used to be minor so by the time the king grows adult so this body it used to look after the state the area of that particular king the next word is innumerable which means too many to be counted when there are many in numbers and they cannot be even counted thrilled thrilled means excited and then on the next page the word is tuft tuft means a growing bunch of hair and the last word from part 2 is incoherent incoherent it means in an unclear manner so these are the meanings of the words which can be difficult for you now let's let me discuss let me explain the story students the story it begins with the introduction of the main character of the story and you know who is the main character the main character is the tiger king the author lets us know the different names of the kings by which he is called but tiger king is the most popular name among those then the author says that he wants to let us know right in the beginning that the king is actually dead so this fact he wants to let the readers know right in the beginning but he wants to disclose the manner of his death the way the king died he wants to disclose this matter in the end of the story only the reason is 
he thinks the author thinks it is a matter of extraordinary interest so that's why he want to disclose the manner in which the king died right in the end of the story so how the story starts when the king was born the chief astrologer had predicted that the cause of his death the cause of the king's death would be a tiger it was rumored that the king who was born just 10 days back he started speaking so something which cannot be believed so a baby of merely 10 days started speaking and he said the king who was a baby at that time he said let the tigers be bear so when he heard this prediction that a tiger would be a, the cause of his death so these are the words he said he said let the tigers be bear so this is the story we have in the first part so now what we have in part 2 here the author tells us how the king was brought up and how he challenged the prediction made by the astrologers so the king was brought up the way any crown prince of a state is brought up then he came of age at 20 when the king turned 20 the state which had been with courts of wards until then came into his hands i have already let you know what does it mean courts of wards so by that time till that time the state it was uh, governed by that body courts of ward but now when the king turns 12 so the power that state it came into his hands now the king heard about the prediction made by the astrologers he decided to prove the prediction wrong so he started out on a tiger hunt the tiger the king became very excited when he killed his first tiger so he started hunting tigers and when he killed his first tiger he became very excited he brought the dead body of the tiger before the astrologers and said that he had proved them wrong at this the astrologer said that he would be able to kill 99 tigers but it would be actually the 100th tiger which would become the cause of his death the chief astrologer announced that he would cut his hair short if his prediction proved wrong so this is the story that we have in the first two parts of the chapter so in the next part we will see that whether the king becomes successful in proving the prediction wrong what does he do is he able to kill all those 100 tigers or actually uh, the reason of his death the reason of his death uh, would be a tiger so this is what we have to see further in the story so uh, in my next video i'll explain the next parts of the story till that time have a nice time be safe thank you